Blade from the Balls Visual Radio Studios. This is the Blades on Ball Show. Have you? Did you meet Madiba? Yes. You did? Yes, I met him at Tony O'Reilly's function when he got the Irish and the South Africans together um, yeah. at a huge function. And Tony O'Reilly, for those of you who don't know, came here in 1955 right. as a British lion, aged 19, and he ended up as the head, the CEO of Heinz Foods yep. at a salary of about $90 million a year. And he is now currently the report, reportedly the richest man in Ireland. Is that so? Yeah. So, sorry, I just butted in. So, yeah. And he got all the 1955 lions and springboks out here, didn't he? And you were invited. Yeah, I was, I was invited. Not that I was part of. I don't know why I was invited, but I was privileged and honoured. Eh? Mm. And one of the greatest things was meeting Madiba. And yeah. I never realised how tall this man was. Eh? Yeah. God, he towered over me. Eh? Well, I'll let me tell you, in 1999, I was sent to a, a dinner that they had. In fact, I was the master of ceremonies. But they had, beforehand, uh, they had a cameraman with, from Supersport and myself as a roving camera and, and Mike interviewing people. And down, it was in the, the, the Marilla room at, at the Santon Sun. And down the passage came Rian Wilberhorser, mm. whom I'd worked very closely with. Rian Wilberhorser was in, Gary, in, in ensconced in South African rugby. Is that Louis Leitz? Le Louis ex Leitz, former ex-son-in-law. Yeah. And um, I, he was the g I, I was on the board of Ellis Park PDY Limited, and, and Rion had been the general manager, so I'd worked very close with him. And Rion came walking towards us, escorting the president. And I rushed up to him and I said, Rion, I have to interview him, thinking this will be the coup of all coups, you know, in terms of, of the rugby. Rion went to d d the president and, and had a quick word with him. He came running back to me. He said, we'll go into that side room over there. As long as there are no lights, your cameraman can't put bright lights on and there are mm. no cameras flashing mm. and that sort of thing. Because of the ice, we yeah. can do it. Well... Was I in a wobble? <laughs> oh, Sydney, I'm sure. I was in a wobble. We, they lined the camera up, they lined the president up, and there I was. And I mean, the microphone was, was like this. <laughs> okay, so like, let's I was, in a, I was in a wobble. What is your first question? Um, <laughs> I'd love to know. What would you ask the president of the republic? Mr. President, how's it? <laughs> <laughs> 48 years has been on China. I mean, <laughs> really. What, I, th I think I think I said, Tim, it's it's wonderful to see you at this because it was a farewell function to the '99 World Cup Springboks. Okay. They were going to Wales with the with the hosts yes. of the '99 World Cup. And I think I said to him, Mr. President, would you tell the nation what is the message you're going to give to the Springboks this evening? Good one, Blade. You I go, th boy. Th thanks. <laughs> you go, boy. <laughs> well, let me tell you, the next thing is, the, the comfort, the most incredible calm came over me. And it was just because of his presence. Mm. And just because of the way he was. And I say, from going from, a, 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 I was in a real wobble. Mm. I mean, I I'm was sure really good. nervous. And I, the most incredible calm came over me. And I think just about everybody who has, has spoken to him and been introduced to him, you know, had the, mm. same, the same sort of feeling. Well, he went around so the that table. So was, that was my experience. It wasn't really experience. a personal thing. I just shook his hand and, and yeah. said, you know, it's an honor to meet you. Mm. Yeah, brilliant. He is my hero. So that was oh, my, because I also met Balthazar John. Yeah, uh, yeah. When he was a yes, the minister. Yeah, who is it? I, Balthazar John used to, used to get, he used to say things like, my colleagues and I are ecstatic. <laughs> that was the Blades on Ball Show. Join the voice of South African rugby on your wireless next Monday for more unbelievable memories and banter. Until then, stay classy, like 20-year-old Glenn Morangi classy.